Hi guys. Good morning. I needed that sleep, y'all. God knows I needed that sleep. Trust me. I needed that sleep. Um been up early. I'm supposed to be up at 6:30. Of course, I overslept till 7. But I've been doing some ripping and running, food shopping. Um, I'm making some crab legs. And I tried this method and maybe I might do a video on it. I hate when you you steam crab legs at home. And when you open the crab legs, the water pours out. So I tried this new method um, a few weeks back and they came out great. Um, and I think I'll do a video. But in a large metal pan um you know like a full tray i filled it a quarter inch with hot water and i used this oven rack that i had um that you can put inside a pot or something and i put the crab legs on top of the oven wrap and then season them okay i don't really care for old bay maybe you guys do i don't so i made my own seasoning i love garlic so i seasoned the crab legs with salt pepper garlic um, parsley and then I just took a stick of butter and I just put packs of butter all over the crab legs and I put them on top of that metal rack and I covered the pan tightly with aluminum foil and I steamed them inside the oven and they came out delicious and I posted it on um, my Instagram and maybe Facebook and my sister was like oh I want some so I'm um, going to her house later and I'm going to make those crab legs. I'm going to make some mussels, okay? Um, had these great mussels at Red Lobster. And they had tomatoes, parsley, garlic, and a white wine sauce. So I'm going to be recreating that. And some corn on the cob. And I'm going to do, I make some good shrimp scampi skewers. So I'm going to be doing that. I might make different kind of shrimp skewers. Might make some Hennessy barbecue Hennessy shrimp skewers and then might do the uh, scampi shrimp skewers but we're gonna eat today and some roasted red potatoes okay it's a shame hubby is allergic to shellfish so my sister's making salmon and she's doing ribs and stuff like that so he'll have to eat that but more crab legs for me anyway and these are the truth if you ever been to a seafood restaurant my girlfriend Rhonda ordered these from Amazon and she doesn't eat crabs like that. So I told her, I'll, I'll place another Amazon order and replace them. But I need some. Because these make eating crab legs. A lot of people, like my mom, she says, oh, I can't be bothered. A lot of people don't like eating crab legs because it's just tedious. But with these things, it makes it so much easier. So I'm excited. She hooked me up. And she told me, don't even worry about it. I don't have to replace them. But anyway, you know what time it is, guys. Um, I'm at Dollar Tree. So I had to come... Um, and what I'm going to be using for the metal racks, because I'm making a larger quantity of crab legs, I bought five pounds of the snow crab legs, is Dollar Tree has these cookie baking racks. Now, they're not as tall as I would like them to be, but it's still going to lift the crab legs off so they're not sitting in the water. So, I mean, I wish it was a little bit higher, but at this last minute, um, that's the only kind. So, this is just an idea, um... And I'm telling you guys, it made a world of difference. So I got that. Um, in their home decor um, section, I'm on the hunt for something. I don't even want to say what it is because I'm going to be mad if I don't find it. When I find it, I'm going to show you guys, even if that's the only thing I find. But I've been seeing a lot on Instagram. Everybody's getting ready for the fall. It's September 2nd. It's coming into my favorite time of the year. I love the fall. I love the fall. I love the fall. I do. Um, anyway, I've seen people hauling these. And I was like, eh, whatever. No big deal. If I find it, I find it. But they really are pretty. And they had them in the dark green. I did not get green. I love burnt orange. Okay, so they have this one. Okay, I got two of these. And something I've never seen at Dollar Tree before. But I have bought these before, but just not in this style. And this is very, very pretty. Look at this, y'all. This is the LED Voltive Candle. It comes with the battery. It's telling you that it's going to burn for 120 hours. Look at that. And they had them in, I think, a darker color. Um, but I like gold. 
sparkly golds. And I'm going to put this inside of this. I think it's going to look so pretty. Okay. I'm going to get ready to do my, um, I got to get myself together, y'all. I've been too distracted and I've been falling off on a lot of things. And um, I want to get my full decor out. I mean, I know it's only September 2nd, but why not? And I love it because you can do it in September and it's already done for Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Maybe I might wait a little bit, but still, I just love that time of year. So I found that something I seen, I don't know why I went down this aisle, but I just did. And I've never seen this before at Dollar Tree, but I have a door that I would like to cover because it's damaged and I, I can't replace this door right now. Um, that's when Chunk's mother was living upstairs with me and I think she kicked the door or whatever. So, um, I just want to cover this door and it's in my den area um, that I do the lives. I have a small den off the kitchen. So, look at this. This is like a faux brick. Okay, it's long, guys. It says it's 28 inches, so I guess it's 28 this way by 6 feet long. So I'm going to cover the door because this will match my colors in the den. And I'm just going to see how it looks. Okay, I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it's going to... I just need to cover the outside door frame, okay? Um, plus this door is white and it really needs to be painted. And you know kids, the handprints, ugh chunk his handprint so I'm just gonna see how it looks if it looks cheesy I'm, I'm not gonna leave it up but this is just if you wanted to do imagine if you wanted to do like a faux brick wall somewhere um I've never seen this before they did have um the light pine looking wood one um and they did have solid white but I don't want white and this doesn't say, this is, um, it's called a, a banner art paper. So it looks like teachers would use this to, uh, for a backdrop of a bulletin board at school. But again, I told you guys what I'm going to be using it for. And I hope because this area has warm tones and the dark brown in it, it doesn't look crazy. But it, it'll look better than what it looks now. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know those um, Christmas plastic door covers I still have mine up from Christmas okay because I had a small Christmas tree in that area um, and I have that still on the door just because that looks better than the the door so I'm going to be fixing that okay um, if not today later um, look at this cute pen trust me they didn't have what I was looking for but I'm not gonna give up hope I really it's unfortunate that you have to go to a million different Dollar Trees to find everything but I can't, I don't have the time to do that today. But look at this pen. Isn't this the cutest? The unicorn pen. I don't write much, but I will be now. Okay, keeping track of my calories. Yeah, right. I don't know why I got on YouTube and told that lie yesterday. That I, I Well, I did say I was going to attempt. I did say I was going to attempt. Um, I didn't do too bad, but... <laughs> I didn't do too good either. Um, this is a repurchase for me, guys. These bags rarely rip. Um, and I've showed these before in old Dollar Tree hauls. Um, made by Good Sense. I guess that's a name brand, I guess. I've heard of them before. But I love these bags. You get 10 bags for a dollar. And these are my kitchen trash bags. And like I said, they do not rip. So whenever I see these, I grab them. They normally have them all the time in a box of eight. But as you can see, you get 10. And I think I've showed you guys this before, but this is a repurchase, and this is always going to be a repurchase. Now, you may say, well, Eric, it's only 25 square feet. Well, Illumina Fall is expensive, okay? And this stuff is great. It's better than Reynolds. When I was using it, I said, wow, this feels better than the Reynolds, because Dollar Tree does have the 18, um, 18 feet or square feet roll of um, aluminum foil, and... I have bought it sometimes just because Dollar Tree also sells aluminum foil. It's in a red and black box. Do not waste your money. Paper is thicker than that aluminum foil. It tears just from you rolling it out. Do not waste your money. So when I was using this, I was like, wow, this feels like Reynolds. And then I didn't see that it says compared to Reynolds wrap. 
And Dollar Tree has a lot of products that says compared to, and they're pretty, pretty competitive. And someone had asked me on um, my last haul about school supplies. You know, y'all know I rep Dollar Tree. As my husband says, I bang for Dollar Tree. If anybody says something wrong about Dollar Tree, I'm ready to, you know, turn up. Uh, because he has his smart comments about Dollar Tree, but yet he uses their products that I buy. And I'm really sick of that. I used to be uh, the Dollar Tree shopper. Everybody uses me because they know I'm here all the time. Oh, pick me up this, but they're too good to go to Dollar Tree. F out of here. So I, I, won't, I won't even be, I don't think I'm going to buy him any more Dollar Tree products because he's always talking junk about uh, the gray bags. He calls me the gray bag lady. Um, I'm not going to buy him stuff, but you know, so he knows when he says something, my eyes look like don't even go there. But anyway, what was I saying? What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying, guys. Oh, they have a lot of, um, products that are very, very similar to the name brands and you can save a lot of money, but not school supplies. Do not waste your money on their school supplies because I've seen in Target and I've seen in Walmart the composition books which I know a lot of the little kids need they're 50 cents Dollar Tree they're a dollar um, they have name brand pens packs of pens for 50 cents and stuff like that so don't waste your money for school supplies in Dollar Tree I seen this one man I mean he really went to town but you know sometimes you don't want to say something to people he was already at the register and some people you know I don't care, you know, it's all right, you know, so, I, you know, some people you can't help, but anyway, if you like Pop-Tarts, and I was surprised, now, I don't really mess with Dollar Tree's pantry too much, I'm not going to lie, some things I will, some things, I, it's just not worth it for me to try, but, um, if you like Pop-Tarts, these things taste just like Pop-Tarts, and no, they're not for me, they're for one of my broke man boys, okay, but, these are just like pop tarts and they used to have the box of 12 for a dollar they don't have them anymore um you know but if you want 12 you can buy two boxes and they come in every variety they have the every variety that pop tart pop tarts make they make okay and that's about it guys the rest of the stuff is, is not even worth to tell it's my aluminum pans and stuff like that i didn't find what i was looking for um, but I, I'm happy about these um, candles because they're so pretty and sparkly. And um, the candle holders are, are cute, but that's not what I was looking for. Um, what I was looking for is pretty, pretty exciting. And I'm not even going to say it because if I don't find it, I'm going to be angry. When I find it, you'll know. And sorry about the live, guys. I just needed to rest. I just needed to sleep and I feel good um, and ready to enjoy the day after I slave in the kitchen my sister I'm telling you she's the only person I know that can get somebody to bring the meal to her house I love her but she's the only she's the only person I know this chick could have a full course buffet at her house and not lift a finger you gotta love that hustle right um but anyway seafood cooks fast so the hard part is done. The grocery store was the hard part. Now it's just, you know, putting everything together, which I cook fast. That's one thing about me. I cook fast. I can cook a big meal in a short period of time. My husband, he'll be in the kitchen all damn day, and then he don't clean up. So, no, don't cook for me, baby. Don't cook for me. You know what I mean? That is not a treat. That is not a treat for you to put grease all over my damn kitchen, and then I got to clean up after your ass, and you sitting down and pack the food away to the worst part I'd rather cook and have somebody else clean but I clean as I cook he doesn't get that concept gotta love him though bless his heart but anyway I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday I'm happy it's not raining um and that's it um thank you guys for the love and support um I just you know it's just too much too much going on in this world right now and I don't know if you guys heard about the young man in the Bronx 22 years old father of two baby on the way he was dropping off his cousin all of a sudden he gets into a staring match with somebody they pull out a gun and shoot him in the head that's in the Bronx and I don't usually rock with GoFundMe's but one of my my YouTube cyber family sent me the GoFundMe link to my Facebook inbox and 
I am going to, not much, I'm not going to lie because I'm on a budget, countdown to vacation, and if I don't lose 10 pounds, I, I need a wardrobe. Um, so um, I am going to send um, $10 to the GoFundMe, and um, when I have time, I'll, I'll post the link if you guys are interested. And Because, you know, GoFundMe is just, I just know people who personally did not get the money, and it's always set up by another family member, and you just don't know, I'm sorry, but I just feel in my spirit. When my spirit tells me to give, I just have to go with it. Or I, I just have to go with it. Now, if something tells me something's fugazi, I have no problem. But I just feel compelled in my spirit to give. Um, and, you know, it's only $10, but at least I'll do something. You know what I mean? Um, it's just very, very sad. People are dying. Every It's just like that's the new normal. And this is again in the Bronx. So, I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to get into it, though. But um, I will, at some point, if not today, tomorrow, post a link if you guys are interested in, in donating. And um, also, I will put his name so you guys could research the story. Um, it happened two nights ago. So, I want to say it happened Friday into Saturday. And just dropping off a cousin. And his mother was waiting for him to come back and pick up um her and the two kids and uh you know she said her son was not in the gang he wasn't in crime and it's just it's just horrible sounds like a, a gang initi initiation like why would you because somebody stares at you the wrong way pull out a gun people just it's just i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it positive vibes happy sunday and uh Thanks for watching, guys, and I just hope I find my wish list item, but I just don't have the patience to uh, go hunting. There's my son. He's getting off work. My son works at Dollar Tree, and, and he helps me out with nothing. He knows nothing. He knows nothing, okay? So I don't even get an inside scoop or a hookup or anything, an employee discount. I get nothing. Um, I guess he's on a quick break. But anyway, have a good day, guys. I love you. And thanks for watching as always.